क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ईकीडा Hello friends in the previous topic we have discussed about the problem number 11 that was a numerical based on the decay constant and here we are doing the problem number 12 so what is the question and what is the required thing that is what we have to calculate this is what we are going to do in this topic so now let's get started so friends this is the question that is what we have that is the half life of fluorine 19 is 110 minutes what fraction of fluorine 19 sample decays in 20 minutes so this question is quite different from that of the previous one so let's see how we can solve it first of all let us find out the data so the data that has been given here is the half life of fluorine 19 is 110 minutes that means t half we could say is been given as 110 minutes so from that obviously we know that is we can easily calculate the decay constant that is lambda but here the thing that is been asked here is what fraction of fluorine 19 sample decays in 20 minutes so here the time is also been given within which the change will occur that is 20 minutes so this is the only thing that we have so how we can calculate it we need the fraction of fluorine sample that has been decayed so here basically we can say that is we don't have the value of n not neither we don't have a value of that is n so one thing that we can find out is we can find out the ratio of n not divided by n from the value of the decay constant if we calculate it with the help of t half and also we have that is time so once we calculate the lambda as well as the other things or the other factors like n0 divided by n we would be able to find out the fraction of fluorine sample that has been decayed in 20 minutes so now let us start with this thing by writing the formula and the formula is t half that is half life is equals to 0.693 divided by lambda that is decay constant but here we have to find out the decay constant first so therefore what i could rearrange the above formula is lambda is equals to 0.693 divided by t half and here basically the t half value that is what we have got is from the above question is 110 minutes so therefore 0.693 divided by 110 minutes that means the decay constant will have a unit of minute inverse so let us find out the value of this fraction and let's see what is the decay constant value we could get here so we have got the value 6.3 into 10 raised to minus 3 minute inverse so this is the value of the decay constant but this is not the final answer that is what we need we need the fraction that has been decayed so let us find out the another formula of the decay constant and let's see how we can evaluate the required data we know the formula for the decay constant as lambda is equals to 2.303 divided by t log to the base 10 of ratio of n0 divided by n so here we don't have the value of n not divided by n but yes we have the value of t that is a time in which the change occurs and the lambda that is the decay constant so now let us substitute all these value and let us see what is the value or the fraction we could get for n not divided by n so for the decay constant we have got a value that is 6.3 into 10 raised to minus 3 is equals to 2.303 the whole divided by the time which is in which the duration which the change occurs is 20 minutes into log to the base 10 of n not divided by n so here basically we have to find out this value so therefore log of n not divided by n is equals to i will shift this over here so therefore this is 6.3 into 10 raised to minus 3 multiplied by 20 the whole divided by 2.303 so let's see what is the value we could get here so here we have got the value as 0.0547 for log to the base n not divided by n 
but we need the value of n naught divided by n so what we can do is we can shift the log on that side so therefore what we have to do is we have to find out the anti log of 0 0.0547 so let's see what is the value of this fraction that is n0 divided by n we could get so we have got the value for the anti log of 0 0.0547 as 1.134 but this is the value that is what we have got for the ratio of n0 divided by n. So from this, how we can estimate the amount which has been decayed? So for that, we have to know what is the fraction which was been undecayed. So therefore, the fraction which is undecayed, it will be nothing but it will be n divided by n0. That is the reciprocal of 1 that is 1.134 so let's see what is the value we could get on here so let us calculate this one so after taking out the reciprocal we have got a value that is 0 0.881 portion which has been undecayed if this is the undecayed portion that is what we have so what amount of the particles that has been decayed so for that we can easily calculate it that is the fraction of the particular element or the radioactive element that has decayed it will be 1 minus 0 0.881 so let's calculate this one so here we'll get to know that is 0 0.119 fraction of the sample was decayed during the 20 minutes and this is how basically we can calculate it. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood this video very clearly and I hope I'll see you next time. Till then, don't forget to subscribe to channel. Thank you so much.